good morning students let me we are going to discuss today about um, two drugs one is about aloe which is very common which we are especially most probably we are using in cosmetics daily we are using especially most of them may be knowing and almond is also bitter almond it's an edible uh, which is having more nutrient and we are using it in many foods as well as alone also we used to take bit almond very sweet almond bitter almond but uh, now first we are going to talk about aloe aloe vera katravar in tamil it is called kattale in malayalam you can say katravale that means it is very much useful for cosmetic purposes various shampoo and face packs apart from that it has many other uses also now still now we are not uh, it's working under in various work have been going on it has many activity of pharmacological activity towards even uh, many skin diseases and also scars when you apply it is relieving and even some of them they have identified for internally drinking it has more effective even it has some effect towards uh, um, uh, cancer also so it has some effect uh, most of them uh, this there is different varieties are there that's what we have to think there is more than uh, I, I know that more than 380 or 480 varieties of species are available but still we are very commonly we have somewhat more aloe vera is very common and some of the species very very interesting species and we are having many industrial productions and many products also we are uh, it is available in the market and also very interesting product that is what i want to say very very interesting product whenever you get time don't depend on only on my material or my lecture please so i am a small uh, just uh, teacher who can just deliver some reference which i am doing but uh, students can have uh, more references more more book references more internet sources and you can get more ideas from different sources even you can get uh, you see uh, i am just me to studying along with you even i, I cannot say that is what i maybe day to day researches are going on and day to day there is updating a person in whichever field if you are updating yourself you cannot always be i studied this i know this this is like that you cannot stay now day to day there is lot of changes lot of improvements a lot of new new inventions innovations are coming out so we should update ourselves to the latest trend you know how we want to cope up with the society for our profession especially pharmacy you should know that you should you should update yourself and you out you should not make yourself i am tired this is enough no nowhere it cannot be stopped in a place you have to go on reading go on updating that is what i want to say now now we are coming to aloes we let us go to the aloes you see aloes is a very common plant even the plant may be available in your home in a pot or in the garden 
and while going on the road you can find out everywhere you can see these plants and this and Malayalam you can say Katrabara which is very very common and usually females are using now directly they used to take the pulp inside the leaf and they will apply in the face and even some are scars which is available most of them they have scar due to very close wine scars these all scars can be applied by means of this uh, aloe juice and uh, it's a fantastic plant. We will go to the details of its pharmacognosy. So common name aloe vera, medicinal aloe, burn plant. In Hindi, ghee kumari. And in Marathi, you can say korpad. In Tamil, kattari. And in Malayalam, you can say kattarwara. And you can see in uh, even cheru. Katarva, uh, um, uh, this Katara, you can say, Charagatara, they used to say, and in Nepali, you can say, Gayu Kumari, and in Telugu, they say that is Kalabanda, Kalabanda, and in Assami, they are saying that is Chal Kanwari. There are many names they used to give because it has many uses most of them are um, using it and they have enjoyed its activity so when you come to synonym aloe and uh, great kumari aloe in gujarati botanical source aloe is a dried juice obtained by insertion from the base of the leaves of various pieces of aloe. So you can say it is an unorganized drug, it is an exude, it is obtained from the plant. And aloe barbadensis, Miller is the scientist name or it can be called as Curago aloe and aloe Ferox Miller, Cape Aloe, and Aloe Perry Baker or Socotine Aloe. So Aloe African Miller, then Aloe Spicata Baker or Cape Aloe. All these species belongs to family Lily A. Lily Last time. In last time your university question paper they have asked this one. They have asked to differentiate different types of aloes available and specify their chemical test. So their chemical test and identity and their even their specific morphological characters and uses especially they are very very important. Once you know clearly and the chemical constituents even they are asking you can write very clearly. Easy. You can use it for your normal life. These all are, it has to be in your mind, not only just for an exam. Not, I am telling you, not for an just and for an exam. It should be in your mind. Somebody says about this plant, what is its use? You can say it can be used for this purpose. You can use it. Lord have given these all nature products to use without any fear. Fear not. That's what we want to say. All these species belongs to Lily Asia family. And the geographical source Kuraku Barbados Aruba Kuraku aloe or Barbados aloe that means West Indies. Barbados is West Indies in America and near to America islands. And Bonaire, West Indian Islands. Cape Town, South Africa. South Africa. The Africa, South Africa. Cape Town. They are also having specific brown color. It was specific uh, aloe, which is obtained from Cape Town. Aloe frogs. 
Aloe Ferox. Aloe Ferox, you have to remember. Cape Aloe, Socotla and Zanzibar Islands. Socotrain and Zanzibar Aloes. It is also cultivated in Europe and the Northwest Himalaya region in India. So that's what it has been cultivated. Because when you talk about this cultivated, you should know that. So how much importance it's apart from the wild collection. So we used to simply throw it off this aloe and it has more uses. You see this is a plant, the structure of Kurako or Barbados aloe. They are main export and production in their country was Coraco of Barbados aloe. And this is Barbados just to show the picture of Barbados seashore island beautiful like you can see our Kovalam but it, this is a long beach beautiful beach it looks like India but it is like coconut tree is also there you can see that West Indies so this is Barbados beach just to show you and preparation of aloes the method of preparation of aloes in different in West Indies and even South Africa South Africa is different it is Cape aloe okay Cape aloe is South Africa West Indies Coraco 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 aloe is West Indies you have to remember and the Coraco of Barbado, Bar Barbados aloe in West Indies, they cut the leaf or arranged with their cut surface on the inner side, on the side of V-shaped vessel and about 1 to 1.5 meter long and the flowering juice collected in a tin vessel placed below the Y-shaped vessel. So that it will be drained. They used to do in Barbados how they are draining the uh, juice are draining the internal part of the leaf they used to do. See the juice is transferred to copper evaporating pan and heated carefully till the whole mass acquires semi-solid consistency. It is then cooled slowly and stirred during cooling. These conditions are favorable for the crystallization or barbaloin and this aloe contained crystals of barbaloin because of the presence of which is becomes opaque and is known as hepatic and livery aloe hepatic and livery aloe it is packed in that is grooves and allowed to become more solid as shown in the picture solids this aloe is known in commerce that means commercial as coraco or barbados aloe coraco or barbados aloe so this is barbados the city sorry sorry not barbados this is about the cape town Cape, we used to say in India we have Cape Comorin that is different that is Kanyakumari that is Cape Comorin this is Cape Town the, uh, that is Africa that is in the South Africa they have the Cape Town so this is the Cape Town how beautiful it was you can see that it's a beautiful stadium and a beautiful seashore and they have a very good forest area, greeny area and they used to say 
South Africa is a different world. It was having a beautiful, but only thing is, it has many uh, conflicts, but still it has been same like in India, how we fought for uh, freedom, they also got the freedom. So, you can think about how beautiful the cape. So, the cape aloe, we are going to talk about, it's little different, it was little tall and uh, uh, reddish flowers as shown in the picture and the solid mass is also, you can see that is a uh, little darker in color. In South Africa, a shallow circular pit is dug they will shallow circular pit. A video you can show that is a shallow circular pit and covered with a goat skin or canvas and cut leaf will be arranged radially around the skin which you have kept down and the juice will be collected. The juice is collected in the canvas or the goat skin which you have kept in the shallow round, round which you have dug for a secretion to be collected and transferred, then transferred to a copper and evaporating pan and a heater. It is heated till the juice acquires maximum possible solid consistency. It is then cooled quickly without stirring without stirring these conditions are not favorable for crystallization of barbel iron and as a result this aloes is transparent and is known as vitreous or glacy aloe they are called as Vitreous or glacy aloe. So you should remember which one is vitreous or glacy aloe. Cape aloe. You have to remember it is cape aloe. Cape aloe is prepared in this way. And now we are coming to the next one about the sorcatra. That means sorcato aloe. That means sorcatrin. That is sorcato means in Arabic. Squatra, also called as Squatra, located between the Guatrafi Channel and the Arabian Sea, is the largest of the four islands in Socata Archipelago. If you see in the graph or in the in the world map, you can see that island this Socatra island is the biggest island so you can see that a, a, a plant which is grown an aloe vera which is unexpected you see how the stem they have collected and it become tall like a tree yes so the leaf is very important for us to collect the aloe juice so, Socatrin aloe, the third one, you can see this is the structure, little lengthy and different structure. Aloe juice is collected in the same goat or a sheep skin and the spontaneously evaporated is allowed for about a month when it becomes viscous, pasty mass. Arab traders send this pasty mass to Zanzibar for reprocess packing or Bombay from because the Arabian Sea they can send to Bombay from where it is exported to Europe in barrels, pins or leather packings. In Europe countries it is dried and wooden pans with hot air till moisture is about 10 percentage 10 percentage okay and now we are talking about what is Zanzibar Zanzibar is Tanzanian Tanzanian Tanzania you might have seen Tanzania Tanzania it is Tanzanian 
archipelago of the shore of east africa east africa tanzania east africa on its main island in gwija or anguja familiarly called zanzibar a stone town a historic trade center with swahili and islamic influences that's what the about the zanzibar we want to say and you see the zanzibar aloe this aloe is considered a type of socotrins aloe but botanical source is not definite and it is prepared similar to socotrin aloe it is packed in skins of carnivorous animals why we said carnivorous animals means sometimes the skin of even it is not goat is not available they used to use some carnivorous animal hmm? like which can eat meat animals the forest which they are getting now it's not possible for you to kill carnivorous animal from the wild but still they used to use bigger animals carnivorous animals like even tiger leopards can also be taken the skin but now it is difficult but they used to use previously that's why it's recorded this aloe is also known as monkey skin aloe socotrin and the zanzibar aloe are opaque they are opaque and the aloe thus obtained is termed as hepatic or liver aloe if the latex is concentrated rapidly followed by sudden cooling the resulting product appears to be transparent and relatively brittle in nature the broken surface has a vitreous or glassy surface such a product is commonly known as vitreous lucid and glassy aloe so this aloe also contain these products also there glassy aloe is possible so now we will see the video of this aloe just a lengthy video but still we can just have a look into that see the video it's just i made two three video and i cut and paste uh, this is the aloe which is asian aloe uh, even uh, which is available in uh, most uh, it, this is actually in an, in africa uh, not uh, africa it was almost somewhat we can see same like the indian aloe but in this, you can see some places how they are uh, cultivating it and plucking it see uh, this they are the variety when once they are yield they used to remove the uh, leaf by means of workers and it is taken by the trucks and brought to the area where it has to be washed first clearly they washed and they how many people are working you just in imagine that is in the washed and even they have been taken by the conveyor and in that also they used to select sometimes if there is any type of uh, bad uh, leaves are there and some shrinking is there they will remove the quality they used to take uh, they used to remove Uh, only the uh, good ones it is observed by these females who are standing there and even they used to select properly and they used to send you see how he is removing 
the jelly part and you see he is just watching us and he is doing his job and this is what the pulpy inside the jelly and this is in India especially in area of in Tamil Nadu area there is one company which is they are having many products of even internal drink they are making by aloes with strawberry flavor and even external packs they used to do Saubakya or they used to have many companies especially this is taken from one company how they are doing see they are collected in a truck and this truck is taken same way there will be some place where they used to put for water and wash it and they are first they are washing and removing all the unwanted debris which is present in them and clearly after washing and it will be sorted and the good ones and after sorting them you see after sorting them they are packed in a plastic vessels and weighed they want to have some measurement so they are weighing balance they used to weigh how much the amount is present there and sending to the next session in the next session they are cutting to the better sides and in the sides also they used to scrap and keep ready see how she is making the sides the spines will be removed and it will be keep ready for the next person for easy to remove the pulpy part of the aloe vera leaf. See, these people are taking this to the next session. Even conveyor can be used next session. And it will be taken and kept for the, the next person to do. See how they are doing fast and they are just... There is some difference how they are taking. See here they are taking the down and then again they are removing the pulpy part and after taking this pulpy part this also will be collected properly and you can see that how it is collected in a uh, stainless steel pure vessel and again it is weighed what is the quantity what is the amount obtained from that leaf which is collected so then they are taking it, the chemists who are, they are taking it to the homogenizer, mixer or you can say it is a homogenizer or mixer, blender also you can say the word and it will be clearly they will crush this pulpy and make it a pure juice which is a sterile one and they used to test it for quality control. And because they all are, it's for internal use. So internal use, they have to go for various and apart, even for external use also, cosmetic purpose also, they used to have pharmacist and the chemist have to undergo quality control and various chemical parameters and tests should be identified and chemical constituents have to be denoted clearly. So, uh, he used to watch how the thickness and everything warding. This is about the computer these be maintained. And we are coming to the quality QC control. QC, she is bringing samples. First they are doing quality test. By means of chemical test they used to see identification. And after they are identifying they want to quantify them. That means they want to determine. Determination by means of titratic method. How much amount of amodin is present and how much amount of alloin is present and all these things they have to see. So they have to record it. Data have to be seen very clearly. And after recording you see this is an incubator. She want to make the study for even microbiological study also needed. See, she is watching the colony development if there is after keeping for 24 hours development and you can, you can even by streak plate method she is showing that 
inoculation of a bacteria gram positive gram negative everything have to be identified and packed and then identified and checked as it is given for oral route this is just a video i just took from south africa this is south africa and a person he was taking from the area this he is not the owner for this land but he is a very good collector he his children and his worker his family members are helping him they used to collect the leaf and they are keeping in a radial and a circle area down they used to keep the goat skin goat skin you can see that goat skin will be there and it will be collected in the goat skin in the bottom and they will remove and they will pour it that video it shows that also after finishing they will remove that and they will make it for another session you see how it is very fast they used to collect and they you know and you see he is once is finished he is removing and making a shallow shallow round one shallow pit keep the sheet down and then he is the sheet is down actually they did not show that and and then he is filling it in radial round then and after finishing the drain they are taking that sheet did you see the skin skin contains all that brown color exudate all an amazing exudate it was strong brown color exudate the sap sap which is obtained from that leaf is brown in color and it will be collected and it will be processed so this is about this south africa or cape aloe cape aloe don't don't forget cape aloe why i am showing this video and all these things students should know that you can write something at least understand can you follow so it's not necessary to always reading always reading is not necessary everything will come into your mind once if you are uh, having a knowledge or idea it's possible for you to remember and to present it in the examination very clearly so now you see the next one there are different types of aloe what we have discussed properties like coraco aloe app aloe, it is cape aloe and we can go for sorcotain aloe and zanzibar aloe what is the difference color coraco aloe is brownish black opaque mass cape aloe dark brown or greenish brown to olive brown mass sorcotain aloes brownish yellow opaque mass zanzibar aloe liver brown color and odor for coraco aloe strong odor resembles with iodoform cape aloe sour and distinct odor sorcotain aloe unpleasant odor zanzibar aloe characteristic but agreeable odor so you have to just make it comfortable to remember like this understand taste coraco aloe is intense bitter taste cape aloe nauseating nauseating bitter taste sorcotain aloe extremely bitter and nauseous taste and zanzibar aloe <coughs> bitter taste texture <coughs> how is the texture if you see the texture how it looks externally the texture of the aloe which is obtained in the market of coraco aloe waxy and somewhat resinous cape aloe breaks with a glassy fraction sokotin aloe 
fractured surface looks concordant. Zanzibar aloe, a dull, waxy, smooth, and even fracture. This is what the difference in them. Chemical constituents, when we want to talk about this aloe, aloe amodin occurs in free state and as a glycosides in various species of aloe and also ruin. Rhubarb is another one which we have not come across. It is also present in rhubarb. We are talking about aloe. Rhubarb is another plant. Don't get confused. Rhoem is another plant. It is also present in rhubarb, which is not included in the syllabus, though I am not going to <coughs> tell about rhubarb now. Kura, that is, Kurao aloe or Kurako aloe contains about two and a half time the amount of aloe amodin when composed and compared to Cape aloe. So, Kurako aloe, that is a spelling mistake. Kurako aloe or Kurako, you can spell in some places they used to use this word. Kurako aloe, that is Barbados aloe, contain about two and a half times amount of aloe amodin when compared to Cape aloe. So, aloe amodin structure, you have to remember it is an, see, senoside structure you studied, three, six membered ring structure with an double bond O, that is why it is androquinone, androquinone derivative, aloe amodin. When it is in the free state, it will be like this. When it is in the aloe in a glycoside, aloe in, aloe in, when aloe amodin is converted into aloe in, aloe in is a glycoside form, you have a linkage of a glucose molecule. That is, a glycon is connected with glycon, by means of a glycosidal linkage and what is that linkage? Here it is C, C linkage. There it is O linkage in senoside. So, we used directly the bone tracker test. But here it is C glycoside. So, you need a modified bone tracker test. You have to use ferric chloride. That is, you have to remember why we want to have a modified bone tracker test for an androquin glycoside. That is also androquin glycoside. This is also androquin glycoside. But that for that you are using only bone tracker test. Here you are using modified bone tracker test because it is C-linked glycoside. There is no O. It's not O. There is, you can see the carbon atom. The, 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 the carbon atom, the number one carbon atom is linked with linked with the glycoside linkages with an aglycan part of an aloe amodin. So, that is aloe in a glycoside is also present in them. And you can see uh, some structures which I want to, uh, that is amodin can give rise to amodin uh, and also how it is giving rise to oxidation and reduction in a structural relationship or derivatives, a small picture I have made, but the detail I have given in the next slide also once more, I have shown these structures for clear. And interestingly, the glycosides of anthronols, alcohols, anthronols, diandrones and oxoandrones, that is the reduced derivative <coughs> reduction. The reduced derivatives of androquinones invariably found in various plant substances. So, these plants product, these plant product means we are talking about the aloes, different types of aloes. These plant products do make an appreciable contribution to the inherent therapeutic value therapeutic value of a natural occurring substances. The structural relationship of amodin are represented as below that is as shown here. <coughs> you can see amodin anthrone on oxidation it can be double or it can be polymer or you can two molecules and give amodin anthronol amodin anthronol same like senoside we had cis, trans and the meso. 
last class we have discussed. So here we are not talking about the dramatical isomerism. It's not showing any 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 research evidence. But still, everything anthranol is produced when there is CH3. Instead of CH3, there is COOH and CH2OH was there in, in senoside A, B and C and D. You have to compare and study so that you can write very easily. Simply putting some structure, teacher will not give you mark. That is a wrong concept for the students when they are writing. Simply a benzene ring will do. No. The substituents and all these things are very very important please. An oxidation of amodine anthrone can give amodine oxanthrone and again oxidation it can be converted into amodine. You can see the difference of the presence of double bond O, how it becomes a quinone amodine and also amodine anthrone can also be converted into amodine anthranol interchangeable. So, this is what the relationship of the structure which we discussed in the previous slide. And the both anthrone and anthranol most occurs either as free or combined as glycosides. From a close look at their respective structures, it may be observed that they are reduced androquinone derivatives. They are reduced androquinone derivatives. That is what we have to remember. They are reduced androquinone derivatives. Both anthrones and anthranol, anthrones, that is ketones, double bond O compounds, alcoholic containing compounds, anthrones and anthranols are isomeric in nature. However, the later, that means the anthranol may be partially converted to the anthrone former. So, which is essentially a non-fluorescent non substance and it is not soluble in alkaline solutions. So, generally, generally, the anthrones are converted on oxidation what we have seen in the previous reaction into their corresponding androquinones. Understand? Corresponding androquinones namely oxandrone and diandrone. Hence, it is, it has been observed that prompt oxidation usually takes place in the powdered crude drug rather than they are in rhizome itself. That we are talking about rhizome means don't get confused here there is no rhizome. Here it is a leaf exudate. How can you can write rhizome? We are talking about rhizome. There are many rhizomes also like uh, uh, rhubarb. They are using about rhizomes. So that's why they use that word. Sorry I did not. I have to remove but I, I want to mention that even I want to know that if there is a there is some mistake or a doubt, the student will think, how come the rhizome came? Here there is no rhizome. It is a leaf we are talking about. How come the teacher gave rhizome? This question should come from the teacher. Now, student, understand? That's why. But here it is leaf. Huh? But rhizome we have written because rhubarb uh, is a uh, that is uh, many uh, many compounds are there which gives rhizomes also there which have. Uh, allo amodine alloins and androkin glycosides. Besides alloin or barbaloin, the alloys also contain isobarbaloin, curaco alloys, it is present, and beta barbaloin in cape alloys, allo amodine and resin. The principal resin present in the alloys are known as allosin. So now the structure of Gamma conation is also isolated and identified. It is an alkaloid piperidine. Alkaloid piperidine alkaloid is found in aloe gililadi. It is not present in all plants. This variety and aloe balili is also having this compound. And aloe ruspoliana is also having this gamma conicinin conicin you can say is an alkaloid what alkaloid piperidine alkaloid they have identified
Allocene is also present. You see, allocene structure, it is having a, a glucose molecule linked in this form. Open. The chain of the three, three ring structure have been, one is open. And the linkage of glucose side, glucose is also in different area. So, allos yield not less than 50% of water soluble extractives. It also contain volatile oil to some extent, not more, that impart a characteristic odor to it. The chemical test, as we have discussed, it should have a modified bone tracker test. But apart from that, there are many tests to identify the different types of aloes which is available we have to discuss. That is what the last time we have asked the questions. So, the overall chemical test for aloes may be divided into two separate headings, namely general test and a special test. In general test, for this prepare 0.1 percentage weight by volume aqueous solution of aqueous uh, aloes by gentle heating and to it add 0.5 grams of Kesselger and filter through. Wattman filter paper, you have to use Wattman filter paper number 42 and preserve the filtrate for the following test. That means use for the following test. Number 1, borax test or Sokentin's reaction or Sokentin's reaction. To find out of the above test solution, that is what you have prepared, add 0.2 grams of pure borax and heat gently till it get dissolved. Transfer a few drops the resulting solution into a test tube filled with distilled water. The appearance of a green colored fluorescence due to the formation of aloemodin anthranol shows its presence. Number two, bromine test. When equal volume of the test solution and the bromine solution are mixed together it yields a pale yellow precipitate due to the production of tetrabromoline. And the third one, modified bone tracker test, as I told, it is known that aloin or a barbiloin belongs to the class C glycoside. Linkage is C glycoside, not O glycoside like semicide. So, which does not undergo hydrolysis either by heating with dilute acid or alkali, but it may be decomposed with ferric chloride due to oxidative hydrolysis. So, that is why ferric chloride is added. Why ferric chloride is added also? It is a very important point the student should know. Why you are adding in, mo in modified bone tracker test? That answer I have told you in the previous slide. Understand? So, hence the modified bone dragger test employed in ferric chloride and hydrochloric acid is used as state, used stated below. First of all, heat together 0.1 gram of powder aloe with about 2 ml of ferric chloride solution. 5 percentage weight by volume and 2 ml of dilute HCl, 6 normal especially, in a test tube over a preheated water bath for 5 minutes. Cool and cool the content and extract and, liber and see the liberated androquinone with carbon tetrachloride. Now, carefully separate the lower layer of carbon tetrachloride and add to the ammonia solution the appearance of a rose pink to cherry red color confirms its presence. Confirms its presence. What? Androkin glycosides. C-linked androkin glycosides.
Special test. Night special test for differentiating all the four or different varieties of aloes. Nitrous acid test. Crystals of sodium nitrite together with a small quantity of acetic acid when added to 5 ml of above test solution of aloe. The following observation are noted. 1. Coraco aloe, a sharp pink color to caramine color due to the presence of isobarbaloin. B. Cape aloes, a faint pink color due to isobarbaloin. Barbaloin. And Socatin and Zanzibar aloe, color compar comparatively lesser change in the color you can observe. And what about nitric acid test? That is nitrous acid. This is nitric acid. Nitrous acid NO2. Nitric acid NO3. Nitric acid test. The test should be the test solution. That means for example, the test solution when you add, what you have to do? There I want to remember you, you have to see nitrous acid means there is no nitrous acid. You are adding sodium nitrite with acetic acid. So nitrous forms, understand that you have to remember. Don't write nitrous acid is added, no. Understand? So here nitric acid test. The test solution of aloes when made to react with nitric acid. It gives rise to various shades of color due to the different types of aloe available commercially as shown below. That is Coraco aloe deep brownish red color. Cape aloe initially brownish color changes to green. Socatrain aloe pale brownish yellow. Zanzibar aloe yellowish brown. So while writing you have to prepare your own hints. And so that it will be easy for you to remember the color difference. Which one is having which color. Slight difference only. Understand. So the third one is. Krup, that is. Cupraloin. Cupraloin means copper. Cupraloin test. Or. Glugis. Isobar. That is scientist name. Glugis isobarbaloin test. To 10 ml of. 0.4 percentage of weight by volume aqueous solution of aloe. Add a drop of saturated solution of copper sulfate. Immediately follow by 1 gram of sodium chloride and 20 drops of ethanol. 90 percentage especially weight volume by volume of ethanol. It produces different shapes of color in the variety of aloes which we have studied. What color is given by Coraco aloe? A wine red color. A wine red color lasting for few hours. And a cape aloe, a faint coloration changed to yellow quickly. That is Socotrin. That means Socotrin Aloe, no coloration. Zanzibar aloe, no coloration. So that's what you have to remember. Uses aloes mostly used as a purgative by exerting its action mainly on colon. Aloes find its usefulness as an external aid to painful Inflammatory manifestations. It constitutes an important ingredient in a compound tincture of benzoin or flavors balsam. Aloe gel made from the miscellaneous latex of aloe vera is frequently employed in the treatment and cure of Radiation burns to get immediate relief from itchings and pains. 
Arrow usually causes gripping and is therefore administered along with carminatives. How you are taking senna sites or senna. Now we are coming to the next one small topic about the bitter almond. Botanical source almond oil is a fixed oil obtained by expression from the seed of Prunus amygladus. Rosaceae family varieties that means the dulcis scientist name it is sweet almond or prunus amygladus variety amara that is bitter almond they are both are slightly different in the constituents and the shape also geographical source the oil is mainly produced from almond grows in countries bordering the Mediterranean, Italy, France, Syria, Spain and North America and Iran. Characters, car characteristics, almond trees are about 5 meter in height, 5 meter in height, even we meet we have in our home. The young fruits have a soft filth like pericarp, the inner part of which gradually becomes sclerenchematous as the fruit ripens to form a pitted endocarp or shell. The shells consisting mainly of sclerenchematous cells are sometimes ground and used to adulterate powder drugs. The sweet almond is 2 to 3 centimeters in length. You can see the picture. One is sweet, the shorter one is bitter almond and the longer one is sweet almond. The sweet almond is 2 to 3 centimeter in length, round, at one end of the point at other. The bitter almond is 15, 1.5, not 15, 1.5 to 2 centimeter in length, but of similar breadth of sweet almond. Both varieties have a thin cinnamon brown testa which is easily removed after soaking in warm water. The oily kernel consists of two large oily planoconvex cotyledons and a small plumil or plumil and ra ra radical. You can see the shape in the end that is called plu that is plumil or plumili. You can say a plumil and a radi that it means radical, a radical and a radical. That is the plumil lying at the pointed end of the seed, and some almonds have cotyledons of unequal sizes when you break even or irregular folded is also seen. And description color is brown, odor is no specific odor, taste is bitter, and for bitter almond slightly, and bitter almond are found in samples of sweet almond these present may be uh, de detected by the uh, sodium picrate test for cyanogenic glycoside. So cyanogenic glycosides is present in bitter almond which is not present in sweet almond. Due to presence of cyanogenic glycoside in bitter almond it has a small bitter taste. And chemical constituents, both varieties of almond contain 40 to 55 percentage of fixed oil, about 20 percentage of protein, mucilage and emulsin. Emulsin is also present. Mucilage and emulsin is very important constituent which can be seen in this almond. The bitter almond contain 
in addition 2.5 to 4 percentage of colorless crystalline cyanogenic that is cyano cyanogenetic not genetic genetic glycoside cyanogenetic glycoside amygladin is present almond oil is obtained by grinding the seed and expression them in canvas bag between slightly heated in iron plates the oil is clarified by subs that is subsidence and filtering it is a pale yellow liquid the oil with a slight odor and a bland nutty taste it contains all in with similar quantities of glycosides of linoleic and other acids bitter almonds after macerating or hydrolysis of amygladin yields a volatile oil that is used as a flavoring agent sweet almond are extensively used as a food but bitter almond are not suitable for this purpose essential or volatile oil of almond oil is obtained from the cake left after the expression bitter almond this is macerated again with water for some hours to allow hydrolysis of amygladin to take place the amygladin to take place that means for that purpose the amygladin what is that amygladin which you are give hydrolysis the benzaldehyde and the hydrocyanic acid are then separated by steam distillation after hydrolysis these two are separated by steam distillation almond oil consists of a mixture glycerides of oleic 62 to 86 percentage linoleic 17 percentage palmitic 5 percentage meristic 1 percentage palmitolic margaric stearic linoleic archidic gallic behanic and erucic acids are present bitter almond oil contain benzaldehyde and 2 to 4 percentage of hydrocyanic acid purified or volatile oil of bitter almond has all its hydrocyanic acid removed and therefore consists mainly of benzaldehyde the unsaponifiable or unsaponifiable matter containing beta cetosterol delta phi amenosterol cholesterol brassic castrol brassic castrol or brassic castrol and tocopherol is also present in it uses expressed almond oil is an emollient and an ingredient in cosmetics almond oil is used as a laxative emollient in preparation of toilet articles and as vehicle for oil oil injection also they are using and volatile almond oil are used for flavoring agent and the marketed product it is one of the ingredient of preparation known as bidenath lal tail tail you can see that bidenath lal tail that is a product which i have shown there for child they used to prescribe this one in north india and also it is available everywhere and hemcolin gel mentat tantex royal by himalaya drug company and saj badam rogan that is saj herbals these all are some of the products which i have shown usually it is needed for the students should know what all the products available you can make your product in the future if you become a company owner anyhow thank you 
for being with me have a great day thank you